Hello, and welcome to the tutorial series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. Tutorials are brief instructional videos that demonstrate specific features of TDV. In this tutorial, we discuss the TDV Deployment Manager. Here's our agenda. We begin by defining Deployment Manager and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of Deployment Manager. Finally, we summarize the contents of this tutorial. Let's begin by discussing what Deployment Manager is and why it is important for our customers. The TDV Deployment Manager provides a browser-based interface that enables customers to manage the lifecycle of TDV projects. Administrators can migrate both TDV resources and principles across TDV instances. The term resources refers to TDV artifacts such as data source definitions, tables, views, procedures, and so on. The term principles refers to TDV domains, users, and groups. Deployment Manager is important to our customers because it enables them to create repeatable, highly automated deployment plans that seamlessly promote projects across environments. Typically, this migration is from development to QA to production. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of Deployment Manager. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. On a development TDV instance, we have created a new project that includes a published virtual database, development artifacts such as a data source and a view, and a new user definition created especially for the project. We will use Deployment Manager to migrate the entire project to a QA TDV instance so that we can begin the next stage of the development lifecycle. Before you begin this demo, you will need to set up the environment. You will need two instances of TDV, one to represent a development instance and a second to represent a QA instance. For this tutorial, we used a development instance on localhost and a QA instance on a virtual machine. However, you can set up any topology that is most convenient for you. You can easily create and publish the artifacts needed for this tutorial. You must also create a user on the development instance that we will migrate to the QA instance. For this tutorial, we created an admin user named Deployment Manager 01. If you have run this demo previously, be sure to delete all artifacts, including the user, from the QA instance before beginning the new demo. I used a MySQL data source for my project. I published this view as shown here, and I created the user on a dev instance as shown here. We are ready to begin our demo. As a first step, let's outline the overall process that we will use in Deployment Manager. First, we'll tell Deployment Manager about our dev and QA TDV instances. Next, We'll define groups of artifacts we want Deployment Manager to migrate. These groups are called bundles. There are two types of bundles. Resource bundles include development artifacts, such as data source definitions, views, procedures, and so on. Principal bundles include domains, groups, and users. In this step, we also define mappings we want to use between certain properties that may change across the two instances. For example, a development environment typically uses a test instance of a physical data source, while a production environment uses a production instance. We need to change this data source connectivity information as part of the migration. There are many other mappings that may be needed as we move projects across environments. Much of the power of Deployment Manager comes from its ability to perform these mappings. In step three, we will define the actual deployment plan. To do this, we select our source and target sites and then choose the bundles we want to use. There are two other capabilities in this step, 
but they are beyond the scope of this tutorial. It is possible to define resources that are to be removed from the target prior to the migration, and it is also possible to define custom procedures that are to be executed prior to the migration. Finally, we will preview and execute the deployment plan. We are ready to begin the demo. First, we'll define the sites. Log in to Deployment Manager and select Create New Site. We enter the connection information for the TDV development instance, and its available resources are displayed in Deployment Manager. We do the same for the QA instance. On the Resource Bundles tab of the Development instance, we click the plus sign to add a new resource bundle. We give the bundle a name, and it appears in the Bundle Definitions pane. Now we can drag our published virtual database into the new resource bundle. Here we see only the virtual database itself in the bundle, but if we click Preview, we see the development artifacts that will also be moved when we migrate the bundle. Our resource bundle is complete. Now we can move to the Principal Bundles tab and click the plus sign to create a new Principal Bundle. We give the bundle a name and drag our user into the bundle. Our Principal Bundle is complete. Now it's time to do mapping in order to specify any changes that need to occur for our project as it is migrated. We go to the Resource Mapping tab and click Choose Target Site. We select the QA instance, click the down arrow, and we are able to browse the list of all mappable properties. In order to migrate successfully to QA, we need to point to a QA MySQL instance instead of the development MySQL instance. We double-click this property, enter the new value, and save. The source and target values for the database name now appear on the resource map. Our resource mapping is complete. Principal mapping is very similar to resource mapping. We select the target site and enter a new value for the username. Here we change the name from Deployment Manager 01 to Deployment Manager QA. We save and the principal mapping is complete. Now we are ready to create a deployment plan. From the Deployment Manager homepage, we select Create New Plan. We give the plan a name and select the source and target sites. We click Edit on the new plan and choose Add Operation. We choose the Migrate Resources operation and select the resource bundle we created earlier. If necessary, we can change options for the operation. For this demo, we'll use the default values. Click Save and the operation becomes part of the deployment plan. A Migrate Principles operation is defined in a similar manner. We select the principal bundle we want to migrate and save. The migration plan is now complete. It contains one Migrate Principles operation and one Migrate Resources operation. On the Preview tab, we can see more details of the plan. The migration plan is ready for execution. Before we execute, though, let's take a look at the current state of the target TDV instance. This will help us understand the before and after states of the instance. We see that the target TDV instance currently contains only the virtual databases and developer artifacts that are installed by default with TDV. We also see that only the default users are currently defined. Now we are ready to execute the plan. As the Execution Log tab shows, the plan succeeds, and nine resources are imported to the target TDV instance. Now let's return to the target TDV instance 
and see the results of the migration. Our new virtual database appears, along with the development artifacts needed to produce it. The data source name has been changed, and the new user appears with the name change we specified. We can open the order table on the new data source and successfully retrieve data. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. The TDV Deployment Manager provides a browser-based interface that enables customers to manage the lifecycle of TDV projects. Administrators can migrate both TDV resources and principles across TDV instances. The term resources refers to TDV artifacts such as data source definitions, tables, views, procedures, and so on. The term principles refers to TDV domains, users, and groups. Deployment Manager is important to our customers because it enables them to create repeatable, highly automated deployment plans that seamlessly promote projects across environments. Typically, this migration is from development to QA to production. Thank you.